Alright, what is up guys, it is me, United Scotland, it's America, and I'm back again with another video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a quick bit of news that was floating around the Skylanders community a few days ago. Uh, so I was on vacation, I was in uh, Las Vegas, the Grand Canyon, Sedona, Arizona, uh, the Hoover Dam, etc. Uh, so that's why I'm relatively late on getting this news out to you guys. Uh, anyways, so basically a few days ago, the CEO of Activision, Eric Hirschberg, uh, met with Game Industry to discuss the current state of Toys to Life and Skylanders, and his predictions on what's to come. Uh, after discussing the failure, as of late, for Call of Duty and Destiny, he moves on to the Skylanders franchise. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and read off exactly what he says, and then I will break it down for you guys right after that. A new market had been created with Skylanders. It was a way of making toys relevant to 21st century kids who are interactive entertainment consumers in their DNA. And so, on one level, it wasn't surprising to see that rush into the genre. But it certainly did create a more difficult macro environment. Skylanders, we're still behind it. We have supported Imaginators with expansion packs in the way that we didn't with previous games. We have a great Skylanders TV series on Netflix, we have a mobile game in development that we're very excited about, and we are going to see what the right way is to continue to invest in it. What I know is that people love those characters and that world, there's nothing broken about the franchise. It just became a little bit more different as a business proposition with all that competition. We shall see how it plays out. Uh, and then right after that, game industry suggests that it was possibly the death of the Wii that contributed to the decline of Skylanders. And Hirschberg responds by saying, yes, he goes on to say, none of the current generation of consoles have quite captured that family, casual gaming market in the same way as the Wii did. Not even the Wii U. Skylanders bread and butter is the kids, family, and casual gaming market. So the absence of that stronghold in the hardware ecosystem was a difficult thing as well. But look, we want to go where gamers are. Certainly kids are still playing games. They're just playing them on different platforms. A lot of casual gaming has moved to mobile. With Skylanders, we will find our way. So yes, guys, very interesting stuff. And it seems that Activision is finally starting to display some transparency regarding the future of the franchise. And what I am very impressed with, they actually admitted to revealing that they released expansion packs for Imaginators. Well, at least one. Anyways, guys, yes, so many may take this as a woohoo, servicing the game obviously means they will release another game next year. And for those, I definitely don't wish to be a buzzkill, but I wouldn't jump to conclusions. While that may be the optimistic approach, I wouldn't get your hopes up. Uh, personally, I believe that we shall see how it plays out means exactly what it says. I believe Skylanders is going to take it slowly and see how well the mobile game does and the second season of Academy on Netflix do. As you all may or may not know, Skylanders has decided to cut off server support for Skylanders Battlecast effective September 1st of this year. This may be a blessing for some, but I personally find this disappointing. Regardless, this may be the right step for Skylanders to take. Covering up failed games or ideas is something that many smart gaming or electronic companies take as to only be looking forward for the franchise. All we can do is pray, however, that Activision will come through with another installment for the game this next year. Uh, one thing Skylanders does have is a loyal fan base. Small as it may be, I, and many others included, will patiently wait for Skylanders to come around with the next best thing. Anyways guys, that is it for this video, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't checked out me and Frynet Sky Gamers collabs on his channel and mine, uh, be sure to check them both out. Links on screen in the description box below. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and don't forget to peace out.